The show that hooked me on a lifetime of theater going was the original Broadway production of Equus in 1975. I was so captivated with the theatricality of how they made the horses come to life in that production that that just drew me into the theater. I was smart enough to see that uh, my career in the theater did not lie on stage. And so I pivoted, to use a modern phrase, uh, to a role in which I could support the theater and be integral to the operations of the theater without actually performing on stage. When I came in, the rep had been through a lot of transition. There had been three changes of artistic leadership in a period of six years. And so the audience, some of the audience had dropped away, but they were waiting to come back. And once Steve became artistic director and then I came on board later that year as managing director, we were able to rebuild the audience pretty quickly because there were people there who really loved the theater and were just waiting for more stability in the leadership of the theater to start coming back. It's grown exponentially. Uh, at one point, we even were proud enough to say that uh, we had more subscribers than the St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> It's been a great privilege to have run this theater in partnership with Steve Wolf for nearly 33 years. We had a very successful collaboration. We were really well supported by the St. Louis community and we put some great work on stage during those seasons, which I'm incredibly proud of. Steve and Wolf and Mark uh, were, have been an incredible uh, team, you know. Uh, they were the Rodgers and Hammerstein of St. Louis uh, professional theater, in my view, and they played to each other's strengths and weaknesses uh, uh, perfectly. And, uh, and, and being able to participate in that was, was a joy. When I came to the Rep in 1987, we had a budget of $2.8 million that has grown to over $9 million. Also, one of our really strong accomplishments is that when I came here, we had an endowment of $450,000, which is now an endowment of over $10 million. And that positions the rep very well for the future. The theater industry is going through a lot of change. We are very fortunate to have an incredibly visionary leader in the person of Hannah Sharif, who joined us as artistic director two years ago. And I feel that the, the theater is being left in very good hands. I feel so fortunate that when I became artistic director at the Repertory Theater of St. Louis, I had the great fortune of being partnered with Mark Bernstein, who had more than three decades of experience, not just as a managing director, but in this city and with this institution. His passion, his commitment, and his understanding of both St. Louis and the Rep was invaluable to my transition. In fact, my ability to lead this company in the way that I'm able to now I undoubtedly uh, know is because of his partnership and commitment. Mark, I'm so proud of you. You have done such a wonderful job over your 35 years at the Rep. This is a well-deserved award. Congratulations. I'd like to thank the Arts and Education Council for recognizing me with this award. 35 years in the theater in St. Louis has been a lifetime of love. <laughs>